a lot of time happens when you want to show a bullet list cms based bullet list on your page and it's sometimes we, we get very frustrated that why we cannot have a single field to have multiple items with, with the same design structure um, so i have a script for you and in this video i will show you that how you can use that script to make it work so this is a bullet list and how this bullet list is being added to the cms collection list uh, so inside the cms item so this is how the the bullets are added and the script is converting those bullets into this form so this is very interesting I know. Um, if you just go to zero dash degree dot webflow dot io so this is the agency we run and you can go to the hacks page and th there is a first item that is called cms driven bullet list click on it and you will get the script and you can also view the documentation but if you want to continue with this video you can continue with me otherwise you can also go through the documentation and you can implement the script by yourself if i take you uh, further step by step so how you can do this so this is the structure on the designer and the first thing you need to create is the structure of the bullet list and this is the structure we have and uh, so this is called campaign bullet item and it has an icon because we are going to use the same check icon on every bullet item uh, so we have an image there we have a text so we need to add two attributes on this design structure of bullet item the first one we need to tell the script that which one is the parent item which is the parent item of of this structure so this is the parent item that contains the icon and that contains the text so we need to add an attribute that is called list script item and the text we want to update on every uh, bullet is this uh, paragraph text. So we are going to add another attribute to this one, list dash script is equal to text. So this is the first step. The second step is you need to fetch the, the rich text content from the CMS. Just add a rich text block element on your designer and connect it with that um, rich text field. And you need to add an attribute to, to this element as well. That is called list script is equal to source. So this is the source. This source will use this structure and we will show the final results in this container. So this is an empty container, but this one with, a, with an attribute list dash script and is equal to container. So these are the four attributes one on the container one on the bullet item one on the paragraph we want to update and one on the source which is the rich text source and one last important thing is if you have a different style for the last item then you have you just have to add a combo class that is called last and for example if i just remove it so um, normally we have a uh, bottom padding there which is to rem and we not we do not want this to rem for the last item so we can just add a combo class and we can remove the padding from there um, so this is the only change we want on the last item and and yes so let me show you the script so you just have to copy the script paste it inside your page right there before body tag body closing tag and if we just look into the script so uh, these are the attributes so it will take this attribute the element from this attribute assign um, and save it to the source div block so this is going to be the container this is going to be the item template and we will run the process this is going to be the text and this is going to be the last item of the bullet list and that's it enjoy